This is the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4 and verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash, double honor to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the great millstone, also peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, also those that believe the Akim and Akwaf, the brothers and sisters that believe upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall want. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying and also comforting. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And these scriptures are words of comfort. The scriptures are the comforter. The book of Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 tells us, Alas, for that day is great. And what is that day? So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. So that day is pertaining to the time of Jacob's trouble. And who is Jacob? Jacob was the forefather of the Israelites. We know that Jacob's name was later on changed to Israel. And he had 12 sons which brought forth um, the 12 tribes of Israel out of his 12 sons, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans. And the times that we're living in right now, which is the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, have all faith in these times and resort unto the comfort that you have been taught, which are the scriptures. The scripture says here in Jeremiah 30 and 7, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's pertaining to the elect. In our case, the hopeful elect, because we have the greatest hope upon the planet to be a part of the elect number that shall be saved in these times. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 25, and it reads, Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. All right? And what is that sudden fear? All right? The devil coming down upon you with great wrath. All right? And who is the devil? Um the physical counterpart of the spiritual being Satan, which is the so-called modern-day white man, beginning with the shadow government of this society, the wicked elites. Okay, let's read it again, Proverbs 3 and 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear. So when these things come to pass, all right, such as the wicked elites bring in their concentration camps, be not afraid of that fear. It says, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. All right, because the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 tells us, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer, all right? And some brothers, all right, shall suffer concentration camps, okay, by the wicked elites putting forth their martial law, okay? All right, bringing forth their, their uh, torture devices such as the almighty guillotine. It says, fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil, which is the physical counterpart of the spiritual being Satan, which is the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites, the devil shall cast some of you into prisons, which are the concentration camps, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, and that's just a period of time. It could be two hours, it could be two weeks, it could be two months, but it's just a period of time. And the scripture tells us, but, all right, Salakia, be thou faithful unto death, all right? So the scripture speaks about what? Faith. Because in these times that we're living in and these times that we're about to faith, face, we must have what? That glue that's going to keep us uh, 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 spiritually knitted together, which is faith, okay? That spiritual glue. It says, be thou faithful unto death, all right? So you got to be faithful unto death because there is no better way to leave the body by claiming the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, or dying for this ministry. It says, and I will give thee a crown of life. So at the end 
of all the turmoil that we may face, some brothers may face, all right, the Most High shall give you what? A crown of life. That's why we must be faithful unto death, as the scripture says, all right? And these are comforting words that the hopefully elect are receiving right now to build their faith up, all right, when everything get ramps up, okay? And when I say everything get ramps up, meaning the 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 pinnacle of, of Jacob's trouble, because the scripture here in Revelation 12 and 12 warns us, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, that spiritual uh, uh, being Satan, is going to uh, uh, send his physical counterpart, the so-called modern-day white man, starting with the top-tier elites. And at the end of the day, it's the most high putting the spirit upon these devils also. It says, For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. And these devils are uh, putting their plan into motion. As the scripture says, because they know that they have but a short time to reign. Okay, and we must have faith, because the Most High is building us up right now, which is building our faith up right now. All right, and that faith is going to be in Yahweh Shai. It's going to be in these comforting words. All right, because the devil is going to come down with his wrath, okay, and we are seeing the beginning stages of that, the book of Romans chapter 5, and verse 3 tells us, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work of patience, all right, so we are going through certain tribulations right now, being the hopefully elect, and that tribulations that we are going through, that the Most High is allowing us to go through, uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and 1, Thou son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right? It says, knowing that tribulation work of patience, that tribulation that you're going through right now, those hard times that you're going through right now, throughout your 24-hour period, it's working your patience. It's giving you a, a higher tolerance, all right, to, to suffer. Okay? It's building your tolerance up to be able to suffer. Verse 4, and patience, the, the ability to suffer, all right, experience and experience hope, all right, so once you have experience in suffering that the Most High allow you to go through, and the Most High, through Yahweh Shai, bring you through that suffering, that what? Builds your hope. Let's read it again. And patience, experience, and experience hope, all right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, and verse 8. And it reads, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, he it is that doeth go before thee, and he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. All right? And these times that we're living in and the times that we're about to face, all right, the Most High is going to be with us, all right, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So we shouldn't fear, all right? And we shouldn't be dismayed. Let's look into this word, dismayed, in the Strong's H2865. And it says, to be shattered, be dismayed, be broken. All right? So we don't want to be shattered in these times that we're about to face because we have taken heed to the warning. So uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So we know what's about to take place. We know what's coming down the pipe. We are being trained up in the way right now, all right? And we are building up our faith right now through the Most High bringing us through certain trials and tribulations, all right? So we shouldn't be shattered. We shouldn't be broken, all right? And how do we not be shattered or broken? By that spiritual glue, which is faith that's going to hold us together, all right, in these times that we're about to face. And these times that brothers go through throughout their 24-hour period. Um, Psalms 118 and verse 6. And it reads, The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? And that man is talking about the man of sin. All right? Because he's coming with his uh, concentration camps and all type of uh, methods of torture such as the guillotine, all right, 
And we are not going to fear what man can do unto us because at the end of the day, it's the will of the Most High. All right? Um, as the scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and around about the 18 verse speaks about uh, we, sh we want to fall into the hands of the Most High, all right, and not to the hands of men, all right? So in a nutshell, it's the Most High regardless what happens. It's the Most High's will, all right? So we must know that it's the Most High's will and praise the Most High's will regardless. That's why the scripture said we, got, we should glory in, in our tribulations also, all right? And we should know that at the, at the end of the day, okay, we have been trained up in the way and we know what's coming down the pipe, all right? And our faith is being built up right now, all right? Through these what? Comforting words that we have received, all right? By uh, studying the 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 things that happened to our forefathers and knowing that the Most High always brought them out of all the things that he allowed to come upon them. And that's going to be the same for us, all right, in these times that we're about to face, which is the time of Jacob's, Jacob's trouble. First Thessalonians 4 and 18 again, wherefore comfort one another with these words, all right, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that these words was somewhat comforting. Call Halal Yahweh, Bah Hashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. Shalom DTA Wa Ababa Ball.